Both teams in the bonus. You might see the screen by Justin Glenn right here. Here it comes, and he'll roll to the basket. Glenn gives it up to Demario Smith, now down to seven on the shot clock. Martin Smith, three-pointer with 16 seconds to give the Bison a two-point lead. Boy, has he stepped up big tonight. Eddie Payne doesn't call timeout. Time winding down, and now Eddie Payne does call timeout with 9.8 seconds, and the Bison up two. I think what Eddie Payne did, I think he waited to see if Ty Green could get to the basket, but then he had to call a timeout when he realized he couldn't. Here is a great screen to free it up. They double up the roll and a great dribble penetration and kick. And Martin Smith with the three-pointer, his second three-pointer of the game to give him nine and a two-point lead for Lipscomb. They are 9.8 seconds away from improving to eight and seven in the conference and locking down a tournament berth. They would be the fifth team to do so. Well, I, I, I like I like uh, what they did. They gave Ty Green a chance to go to the bucket. They saw that it was not going to be there. They called a timeout. Now they've got nine seconds. That's enough time to get a good shot. But they can't fool around. They've got to have a designed play. Somebody coming off doubles to the ball or an isolation play or a, or a clear out and a lob play. One of the one of the three things. 9.8 seconds remaining, and Lipscomb with a two-point lead on Upstate. Eight three-pointers for the Bison. This is a team that averaged right at eight three-pointers per game, but since the loss of Jordan Ferguson had really struggled with the three ball, hitting only eight in two games. Here tonight, they've hit eight in route to a possible victory over the third place Upstate Spartans. When Scott Sanders sees how they set up, he may call timeout. He may call timeout and get his set. He does that. He calls timeout to see how to handle the way they were setting up. So a timeout called by Scott Sanderson after taking a look at that Spartans offense. And coach, well, what do you expect what, the Spartans, what the Spartans, to do Spartans did? They brought everybody to one side of the floor, hoping that they could get them to overplay and they'd lob it over the top. I think that's what they were trying to do. Now they'll have to go away from that. So now I think I think what they're doing, they're, they're expecting to go to Craig, but I'm, I'm saying that Ty Green's going to get this shot because they're not going to let, they're not going to let Torrey Craig have the ball. Well, Ty Green has had the hot hand tonight, three of seven from behind the three and a team leading 14 points. Well, you got to get it to somebody who, if he's covered, can get to the goal. And he's the one guy on the team, and he's taking it out, and that might be a good sign that he's going to get it right back. There's the screen away for Adrian Rogers playing the ball. Rogers with the ball. It goes to Maxey, back to Rogers with four. Rogers inside the tie green, two. Steps behind the arc and launches and hits it at the buzzer, and the Spartans Beat Lipscomb 62-61. Unbelievable. I thought Ty Green would get the ball, but they went a long way around about getting it. What a great play. They're going to look and see if he got it off. And they're going to look to see, I believe, if there's time on the clock. I think that's what they're going to do right there because it was. I'm certain that he got well, it let's off take in a time. Look at it. Check the clock. It's out of his hand before the light. That's it, 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 it's good. Now, how much time is left on the clock? We didn't get a good look at our side. I, I believe there is time left, though. Well, that's exactly what they're looking at right there. Ty Green with his fourth three-pointer of the night to put Upstate up 62-61. You got a good look at the clock above the scoreboard, above the basket, I should say, right there. And there should be no time on the clock. And that's it. Game over. Upstate wins it. 62-61. What a game. What a game. A game of runs, a game of mistakes, a game of great plays. We had a little bit of everything here tonight. And did Ty Green come through big in the closing stages of the game? Ty Green with 17 points and plays the hero tonight. After getting whacked above the eye, you see the big swell and the cut above his eye. He took that injury in the first half. Comes back with a big second half, hits the three at the horn to give Upstate 
A 62-61 win. The Spartans now 18 and 10. They are 11 and 4 in the conference, and at least for the moment, they deny the Bison a chance to clinch a berth in the Ace Sun tournament. And, and you think about this, Matt. Ty Green missed two free throws to put Lipscomb in a position to win, and that shows you how tough that kid is. I knew that they would get him the ball because he's the one guy that could get his own shot. Another big win for the Spartans as they sweep the season series from the Bison. They'll stay here in town, and on Monday night, they'll play Belmont, the team that they beat 79-78 last month. So Upstate making a statement that they will be a factor on through the rest of this season. The surprising run continues for the Spartans, now 18 victories. They've had 20 victories combined the last three seasons. Coach, before this season is over, they may have more wins this one year than they've had the last three years combined. Yeah, what a great year they've had. And Eddie getting closer to that 400 wins. But I tell you something else that happened here tonight, man. Lipscomb found out that they got a chance to play against anybody. They can make three balls even with the people that they've lost. Ty Green was 17 points, and then the game winner at the horn, Martin Smith, a big jam tonight. But Lipscomb goes down at home, falling to Upstate 62-61. We'll be back on ESPN3 Monday night as Lipscomb plays host to East Tennessee State. And now for Coach Sonny Smith and the entire A-Sun ESPN3 crew. I'm Matt Stewart. Good night from the Allen Arena.